bounds, but the Zags have it, and they will push tempo. Tilly, meanwhile, is trailing. He was down on the play on the defensive end. Corey Kispert knocks down the first bucket of the night. Look at the that. defense here on the on-ball screen. Have six foot ten Killian Tilly show out and force the ball all the way back to the midcourt line. T.J. Hawes, another one of those BYU seniors. He is good. Efficiency, though, has not been good. And these, both these teams need to settle down a little bit. Don't you think sometimes a game like this with all the emotions coming in? Tilly gets the bounce pass from Ayayi and scores with contact. And getting to the rim. Childs got the pass from Hawes. Well, he won't spend many minutes on the bench. He's there to get a quick rest right now. Admon Gilder into the game, hits the three for Childs. Now Timmy somehow saved it inbounds. That was a good play. Gilder will shoot another three, and that one's good. Can have that feeling. Free throws ended an 8 nothing run for the Zags. Petrusha back in. That's a strong move off the glass. The Zags leading scorer for the year. Any guys in this league can stop him down low. No one. One-on-one, -on -one, there's nobody. Good cut by Hawes and a good pass from Zach Selyus to the left hand and missed the shot. Mark Pope wants his team to push tempo. Hawes finds an open shooter. Harding three. And that one no good, but the tip in is good. Gavin Baxter. What was he this afternoon? 11 of 13 from the field. Finished with a career high 19 rebounds to go with 23 points. Tolson for three, and BYU's finally made one. Yeah, he's got to be greedy. Petrushev, nice catch and score. Hey, you're trying to Both Lee and Celius have two personals, so Gavin Baxter is going to have to give Mark Pope some minutes off the bench. Childs makes his move and scores. Childs. Double team, didn't matter. Got too deep. Good for that. Listen to this place. It's the first half. Childs! Combined for 14 of their points. Killian Tilly, who's got that range, and the big man just so pure. <laughs> Couldn't have caught that one. <laughs> yeah, Phillips looking at him like, huh? Tolson, crossover, three! Remarkable. You know, everybody, everybody always said he had a lot of Magic Johnson in his game, and there's no question that he does. Tilly, the loose ball went right to Kispert, who lays it in. Petrushev, they sort of dare him to shoot that, and he coolly knocks it down. A lot of contact going on, not a lot of whistles. They're letting him play. Celius, three. Good! Oz goes right by Kispert, who did a pretty good job actually of staying with him, but Childs tipped in the miss. I, I thought that was still on the iron. Hawes kind of flung it up there, and Baxter found a way to get the ball and lay it in. Do you give him an assist on it. I say I think you can drive, Kispert. Force the defense to have to help, and then you can find shooters on the outside. Shot clock's winding down. Hawes slips it, and that little shot goes. Holy Lee, easy shots. No. He's not a super athletic big man, but he can make that shot. Petrushev went down. And he's grabbing his back. Yeah, he, he, it's something. So BYU ball, that is a huge break, I well, think, for BYU. Well, now, what contact are we going to deem? You know, I mean, well, Yoli Child. Generally, Gonzaga's defense has been good. Yeah. They've been really strong at the defensive end, especially contesting the three-point shots. Childs, that one was contested. It goes down anyway. And yeah, but those fouls will continue to weigh on them into the second half. They're playing with two of those four players with two fouls on the floor right now. Toulson, three, from way outside. Fouls already in this game, so he goes to the bench. Hawes for three. Good! Mark Pope wanted a timeout. Nobody could hear him. So T.J. Hawes will shoot the two. They are with the ball and the lead as we start the second half. With Gonzaga's winning streak, WCC win streak, road win streak, all on the line. And dive right to the basket. Yoli Childs understands space, utilizes his strong shoulders to finish. Tilly off the glass. Kispert down low to Tilly. 
who does have low post moves. It's not. They had some success doing that in the first half. Hawes, tough, contested shot. Yeah, yeah, he's match on, underneath. Yeah, he can't get the ball to Lee. He's trying to guard Colby Lee. Toulson for three, way outside. Mm -hmm. Lee. Yeah. I mean, he's walling up and just forcing Petrusha to take contested shots. What a pass from Childs to Lee. So he played good defense on one end and then hustled to get down on the offensive end. Tilly will score and no foul call. Man, I thought he got pushed. I thought that was a clear foul. They didn't call it. But, but think about this, though. BYU right now is plus six points in the paint. On Lee for three. For three. Way short. He knew it. Woolridge, though, keeps it alive. And now maybe an advantage for the Zags. Kiss for three. That one's good. Much Hawes fell down, stumbled. Woolridge, two on one, gives it up, and Gilder lays it in. Scramble for the ball, comes away with it. Celius rips it away from him, just took it from him. Toulson, three, yes! Celius down low, had a shot blocked. Great play by Drew Timmy. Look at the big man, Tilly, lead the break. Gilder dumps what it off. What a pass. Timmy! On NBA Countdown. Just forget about him leaving Miami, coming back. And Gilder with the steal, and he'll go all the way to dunk it home. Kispert drives it and lays it in. What a move by Corey Kispert. Actually deflected. Ayayi's going to go all the way, and he lays it in with a foul. Chance for a three-point play. So play by Woolridge. Ayayi steps back into a tough two. That one no good. Timmy offensive rebound with a foul. Last time until this week that BYU had been ranked, and perfect timing. The senior night with the Zags coming to town. Great pass. Selyus lays it in. It's right to the basket. Kispert with the left hand. Toulson down low. Celius this time. Gonzaga defended that a little bit better. But he will score anyway. Oz sort of probing. Got inside. And flips one up. No good. But Childs was there with the smaller man on him. And he took advantage. Gonzaga team. The top child's got double team. Found Barcelo open three. That one goes down. His first points of the night. I bring the double right away. I don't want Yoli Childs having any chance to get downhill. TJ Hawes for three. Good. But Timmy's just laying back too much. Childs lays it in. He's been criticized at points and times over the course of his collegiate career to have what's going to happen here in about a minute. It's special. Chris Burgess is smiling. And this place is erupting hard to do what Mark Few and the Gonzaga Bulldogs have done. That's what makes what BYU has accomplished here tonight so impressive. Really impressive. I got a lot of police officers who are ready to help protect Gonzaga players. So they inbound the ball, the shot clock violation. Nixon will come out, and so will the rest of the seniors. Getting ready for what's about to happen. What a moment on senior night. It is special, it is emotional. And Mark, P Mark Pope can finally smile. BYU's legit. They're good. Kispert for three. Way off the mark. Kind of like most of his night from the outside. Horn sounds. Here we go.
time for this. College basketball is spectacular. Today proves it. What a day that started with number one falling at home to Kansas. San Diego State takes its first loss of the season at home to UNLV. Tonight, it's about BYU. It's about Mark Pope's team. First time in nine years ranked, and they just knocked off number two.